I've got my uh, two whole chickens here in the brine uh, that I did overnight. So I'm going to take them out, pat them dry, get them all dry, um, and then we'll go from there. So I got the uh, chicken dried off front and back, patted it dry. Um, you want to make it dry so it'll crisp up in the uh, smoker. I got the smoker turned on at 350, the pellet smoker, the pit boss outside. And I'm just going to hit this with some Meat Church Texas Sugar rub, barbecue rub. Uh, going to apply it pretty liberally all over, front and back, inside the cavity, all that good stuff. Flip it over, do that other side, and then put it on the throne and probably touch it up a little bit. All right, I got the Dr. Pepper 10, 2, 4. I've got the real sugar. Um, this just is a lot better to cook with than that fructose uh, sugar that is in the regular Dr. Pepper. So if you can find this at the grocery store, I'd recommend getting the real sugar cane, a real sugar um, Dr. Pepper. And we're just going to use our two beer thrones and we're going to fill them up and then set the uh, chicken on them. And we'll be ready to throw them on the Pit Boss smoker at 350 for about two hours. Mm -hmm. Pit Boss smoker smoking. We got it set at 350. Our pellets are ready. Our chicken are on the thrones. I got my little thermometers in here so we can monitor it. We're going to just go ahead and let it roll. I'm going to put these on. Time to make the uh, Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. So, without any further ado, I've got about two cups of ketchup. Gonna put this like in a saucepan. Ah, got a cup of brown sugar. Pink. Got 12 ounce uh, Dr. Pepper, real sugar. Add that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got a tablespoon of the Holy Cow by Meat Church Barbecue, Matt Pittman. I'm gonna also use the recommended W sauce, America's Worcestershire. About a tablespoon of that. Cause it's got the robust umami flavor. Got that. Then I'm going to just do about a table, ah, two tablespoons of butter. I wanna put that in there. And then I'm gonna do a little bit, maybe a teaspoon or so of red pepper flakes, add some heat, and then we're gonna put it on the stove, bring it up to a boil, then reduce and simmer it for about 30 minutes, thicken it up, and it'll be ready to go. Got a different name, a new grandma's apple pie. 